WXI 12 News, the very first out here on this scene. As soon as we got the news, we raced over here to Dr. Maya Angelou's home, which is directly behind me to um, my right, your left. It's a very large yellow home. And investigators out here on the scene basically confirming for us this evening, this afternoon, that they are treating this as a death investigation. Here's a live look at the scene on Fraternity Church Road, which is just east of Clemens. You can see the entire building is engulfed in flame. We do know that this is the location where at least two people were stabbed outside on the sidewalk. Many of the police officers now walking with those bags of evidence. This video on his cell phone. Police say more than 20 officers responded to the situation, which started near Winston Square Park. You see officers running through the streets up there. That's in the 500 block of Marshall Street. Witnesses say police used pepper spray to disperse crowds of teens. So far, police have only arrested one person. She has received more than 50 honorary degrees and is a Reynolds professor of American studies at Wake Forest University. We just saw the hearse passing by there. I will say that my photographer, Derek Cheston, his eyes are watering. Now, he tells me it's because of the cold. I think he's crying because it is so cold. Police say some drivers still just don't get it. 38 already. Since Monday, when classes started, traffic enforcement officers in Greensboro have written 215 tickets for speeding in a school zone. At $438 apiece, drivers paid out a whopping $94,170 in fines. 25 means 25. does not mean 30, 35, or 40. It means 25. 635 is 1038. We are with police on Benjamin Parkway near General Green Elementary. Neon signs warn drivers they're in a school zone that the speed limit is 25. But the law breaking continues anyway, so police continue to do what they do. They cited two more speeders within a few minutes of school letting out. You could work the same school every day and stop some people twice a week. They just they don't get the message. Everything's rolling. As a team, we are, uh, everything's clicking. You ever have a feeling that you just can't lose at something? That's how the East Surrey baseball team feels every time senior Scott Meredith or junior Tyler Marion is on the mound. They've been a pleasant surprise. I mean, I've been, this is my 40th year, and I've never had a 1-2 that threw any better than they're throwing right now. Meredith is 3-0 with three saves and an ERA of 0.70. He's averaging almost two strikeouts an inning. And as the point guard on the basketball team, too, he knows all about being a leader and keeping his emotions in check. I think it's more of like a mental game. Uh, you can't get rattled whenever you give up hits. And I think that's one thing I've gotten good at. Marion is 6-0, has a team best 64 Ks, and has allowed two earned runs in 39 innings. Even though his fastball reaches the mid-80s, he credits the development of his changeup for his breakout year. It used to not be my best pitch, but this last year has been pretty successful for me. Like many baseball players are, they're both a little quirky, too. If I ever get something new, a, a baseball new, anything new for baseball, I always sleep with it the night before. I don't, unless it's my cleats with metal spikes, that probably wouldn't go well. I tend to wear the same clothes. I'm very superstitious. I'll eat the same place before every game, um, get on my phone, get on the same apps before every game. As good as they've been individually and as good as East has been as a team, both pitchers admit they're a little surprised at their start, the best in school history. Head coach Barry Hall says it's the kind of season you hope lasts forever. They feed off each other and they feed off their teammates and that's all you can ask. I mean, that's great. Say hello to Mike Cabela. <laughs> This is the story of beauty, brains, and a big heart. Well, she um, went to school, and so they were talking about giving and uh, philanthropy appeal. And Bella decided she wanted to donate some of her toys, so she donated two big buckets of toys. When I asked the beautiful Mike of Bella how old she is, she was very specific. Four and three quarters. So you're four and three quarters? Yes. At four and three quarters, I wanted to be a superhero so I can fly. Michael Bella is flying high. She's an actress with an awesome resume. Two motion pictures, four commercials, and a role in the play, God's House. What you doing? 
praying these Sunday school songs. What Sunday school song? She's done runway modeling to raise money for the Petty Foundation and Levine's Hospital during Charlotte's Fashion Week. She's also the cover girl for Kaplan's Early Learning Company in Winston-Salem. She got started in modeling was through Kaplan, which is advocating for literacy. The Wicked Wolf took a shortcut to get in Grandma's house before a little Riding Hood. Oh, yeah. Did I mention Michael Bella speaks Spanish? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, diez, diez. My Buster Buddy of the Week, the beautiful, smart, and talented. Michael Bella. Yes, she just loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Margaret was born and raised in Seattle and joined the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps during World War II. That's where she met her husband, a chaplain from High Point. When the war ended, they moved back to North Carolina, and she would later go on one of WXII's triad flights of honor. Today she's a widow, a huge sports fan, and particularly passionate about her Seahawks. As we approach Super Bowl 49, her apartment at the Brook Ridge Retirement Community is all decked out in blue and green. And come Sunday, she says, watch out. And you'll hear me scream bloody murder when they win. <laughs> <laughs> I will be so up on it. Are you a big yeller? Do you yell at the TV screen? Yes. <laughs> I live alone, so I can do it. I'm like, who is B Betty White? Says I, I'm 92 and I can do what I want to do. <laughs> I'll do what I please.